just sat in the uh, front room of the Swan, contemplating our capacity under the guidelines. Uh, this front room here, I think we probably get about at the most 12 people. If we got two groups of six, that might be the most. And if we get all single people, we're looking at maybe, maybe six people. Not a lot. And here in our lovely smoke room, probably get, I don't know, maybe another 15. If we get some groups, shouldn't think we get much more than that in here safely. And the corridor is probably unlikely that we can use it at all for seating. So we've only got the two rooms and we can't have anyone standing. The corridor, I don't think we could ensure sufficient space to make it safe. And the garden's lovely, but it's long and narrow, um, and we'd only fit a limited number of people in, not the usual packed garden that we normally have when it's sunny. Um, and we've got the smoking shelter where you might fit another eight people under if it's nice enough to sit out and if the weather changes people can't just come indoors if there's people inside we're known for this stuff lovely local car scale and a lot of those brewers because they got the guidelines late like we did as small pubs um, as small brewers they haven't really brewed the beer yet so we're not sure what we'd be able to get and we're not sure how many we could stock because we certainly can't have eight hand pulled ales with only a fraction of our normal trade it just wouldn't keep this is our cellar our amazing lovely big cellar for a small pub because we're busy. Um, all those racks would be full of casks of lovely local independent cask ale. Uh, and we'd have craft keg stuff from local brewers down here and uh, all the other things we sell, all the lager and everything. Um, and we need this cellar to be fully operational because that's what it takes to run the pub and make it profitable. Um, it would only be working at a fraction of its capacity, which is a big problem. There's nothing we'd like to do more than to get open. Uh, get serving, get doing what we're meant to be doing. Full of people from the local community, full of visitors to York who want to enjoy the kind of car scale that we sell in this lovely convivial atmosphere in the Swan, the Slip In and the Volunteer Arms. But we need to do it in a way that's viable. Otherwise, we're putting a lot at risk. So it makes sense for us to wait, um, wait and see what happens, keep paying the fixed cost of being closed, keep the staff on furlough um, and make use of the support that the government is still giving the hospitality industry because they know it needs it, uh, especially small places like us that uh, are going to struggle at the moment. We were lucky, uh, we got a grant. So even though our lovely landlords have charged us full rent throughout the whole thing, and we've racked up a rent bill at the rate of a thousand pounds a week, um, we do at least have some government grant funding to help us towards the fixed costs of being closed. And a lot of pubs didn't get that kind of support. Um, 
some pubs didn't get any grant at all and they're bigger than us on the whole and uh, with higher rent bills so there are people that are really up against it a lot of those pubs are going to open this weekend um, a lot of them would probably prefer not to we're lucky we can make the choice some pubs will open out of sheer desperation so if you go out this weekend be nice uh, respect the house rules um, and bear in mind that uh, those staff and those licensees are going to be nervous uh, and trepidatious and they'll be worried that they might be about to start running a loss-making business and they'll be worried for their future so uh, do bear all that in mind when you're out this weekend so if you're not too despondent after all that um, and you may be thinking about your local pub, maybe it can't open either. Um, maybe you're wondering what's going to happen, as lots of people are. And you're thinking, what can I do? You can do that. You can join the Campaign for Pubs. It's a brand new membership organisation set up by experienced campaigners, people who run pubs, people who really love pubs, who've been doing it on a voluntary basis for years and have achieved great things. Uh, including the pubs code through the fair deal for your local campaign um, we've got organized um, and we need to be properly funded properly resourced and we can get the voice of pubs and communities and small business uh, a fair hearing uh, at government level we've done it before with no resources so think what we can do with some resources it's 25 quid for a year yes less than the price of a pint per month um, but it will really help and it could be something that could really help your local pub, your local independent brewers um, who can't get a look in at your local pub in, in, in most cases. Um, all that lovely economic local activity, uh, jobs, tax revenues that pubs generate, uh, we need to be heard against the voice of the industry, the people who actually own the pubs. They have plenty of representation. We're working hard to get a real voice for people who actually run pubs, need pubs, love pubs, use pubs. So your local needs you to join the campaign for pubs. Cheers.